My name is Emil Unterberg. Um, I'm in charge of the Non-Governmental Research Institute, uh, where we do uh, all kinds of research to learn from nature uh, and to use it for society and economical systems. So uh, our work is very much system science based. Um, and if I'm talking too quick, uh, please let me know. Just wave uh, and I will do it slower. Um, I apologize <laughs> that I don't speak a uh, good Czech. Um, the topic is um, how desert meaning can contribute uh, to the migration problems or migration and uh, its um, reasons and uh, meeting fundamental needs and solutions like cleaning the deserts. Um, I will not read you the text you can read yourself, but I will point out some um, a major points. Uh, at the beginning, we start that reasons of migration and we will not um, discuss today about the seasonal migrations which have to do with agricultural reasons, tourist reasons or uh, the weekend reasons uh, where people go at the weekend from Prague uh, to the mountain regions uh, or back. Uh, we will discuss just the international migration topic, uh, the permanent or the temporary and the reasons behind it. Um, uh, the, uh, all research is, which is done is um, focusing on serious uh, problems of people like uh, war uh, or being really in uh, very dramatic situations. Um, and in the view of the Western world, we often think that people uh, do migrations out of similar um, reasons why we move to other places, like curiosity or uh, of the hope of improving the economical uh, situation. But uh, this has to do more with our fears and our dreams than with the reality of the people's um, which the uh, UN reports can show. Okay. Okay. Um, now I come to the uh, fundamental human needs and how to meet them. And um, uh, about two. Months ago, I learned in a little village in Moravia that um, all people have the same universal um, human needs. And there was written uh, in this Oshkorice uh, Museum, uh, all people smile the same language. So not only the smiling is universal, also the needs. And Manfred Max Neef, the alternative Nobel Prize winner, you'll find him in the internet. Um, um, pointed out that there are different aspects of these uh, seven um, fundamental human needs. Um, other uh, scientists. Um, uh, substructure these um, seven 
fundamental human needs you find uh, in the internet, but you can also get from me later the whole presentation or whatever you need um, in uh, these three uh, categories. And I uh, translated one sentence with the help of Milan Smirsch uh, into Czech. And uh, I want to focus that um, all people, um, even the poor people who are uh, rich and who are uh, maybe drug addicted by wealth, um, uh, have their freedom. So if we are learning from nature, which I will come to now, I would like to bring into the discussion that if we find in nature, and I would show later with pictures, that diversity um, brings stability and productivity into ecosystems. My approach, as some people in the room already know, is I would like to help some people to feel the freedom of sharing with freedom the things they have enough. And all of us have in several aspects more than enough and something we can share instead of always arguing what we are missing. Like little child who ask mama for what they are missing. And I hope that I get a um, big feedback that you disagree with me because because um, as uh, also Milan likes this sentence if two people have the same opinion one is too much because um, the difference uh, adds to the whole like male and female for fruiting so I will come now to the results um, which have been given uh, on the research done in uh, greening the desert. And I would like to focus that of course greening the desert um, still has to do with who has access to these resources and um, are the basic um, um, participation um, focus um, implemented. But um, in different cultures, different aspects of participation techniques are different um, um, established and have a different tradition. So um, um, maybe the <coughs> diversity of the way to fulfilling the fundamental human needs which we have common uh, can be different ways but um, that doesn't mean uh, to come back if all people smile the same language that we don't have the same um, fundamental human needs okay In the metaphor and in the reality of the biggest system, the ecological system, where we can learn as a part system uh, from the biggest system, um, it is a, a, a loud, it's, there's about a lot of questions on um, how to um, create a milieu where things can grow. So, um, besides knowledge, experience and understanding, which are aspects of learning, um, there are outstanding scientists 
uh, in this country, like Jan Pokorny from the um, Academy, um, who has published his um, knowledge, his understanding um, on um, climate, tree vegetation, and um, uh, fertility and stability of ecosystems uh, on the webpage of waterparadigma.org. The aspect is uh, water and tree vegetation for climate. And uh, if water and uh, tree vegetation changes the climate, um, life is possible. Uh, and as everybody probably in this room knows, um, if, um, if we get a heat more than 43 degrees Celsius, the protein uh, are destroyed. So the, the next step is, um, what do we do with the harvest? The steps uh, uh, and aspects, uh, how do we learn uh, from nature and how do we mimic natural systems with care? And the first thing is that we um, evaluate what is available. And here are the 12 uh, principles of permaculture um, where you have um, observe and interact, for example. And we are talking of the beauty uh, and uh, catch and store energy and other resources. And other aspects. This sounds to some people very capitalistic, but it is just the view of a normal farmer. And um, I will now not go into these details, but if you later in the discussion want to know more about these things, we can discuss this too. I will just show you some photos um, so that you see the difference. This is before and after. Where is it from? This is uh, from China. Uh, the green belt. The, um, uh, um, um, I, I can uh, give you the link where uh, exactly uh, it is done. Um, this is from Australia, um, and this shows a uh, half uh, in between uh, situation where you have different aspects. But for example, um, as we have fruit trees and nut trees, and 25 years ago I learned uh, that uh, in Blada Boleslav there's an outstanding uh, man. Uh, who worked in this country as an international expert um, to propagate uh, walnuts. And uh, walnut trees and fruit trees are trees. So one of the topics we have here is food forest. So we are not talking of forest only for the aspect of wood or timber for building houses. Um, this spring I learned uh, that you can eat the leaves of mulberry trees I didn't know. And it's uh, eaten in other parts of the world uh, like a salad leaf. But just this as in some examples and using the track, uh, using the chicken for example for loosening the ground uh, called a uh, chicken tractor, just as some respect. Just so some technical detail aspects so that you understand where we understand things and where we already don't understand things. And where we haven't understand a lot, understood a lot of things in the past. 
when life comes into a, a, a milieu, like these two examples from China, before and after, we are talking of uh, succession to the maximum of vegetation, to the climax. And this shows the annual and per-annual plants and so and so. But if you look this picture proper, you see it is not about the trees and it's not about the plants. It's about half of the trees. This picture shows half of the trees and half of the plants. And sometimes, like the Vivicia in <coughs> Namibia, the upper part is one meter high and the bottom part is 26 uh, meters against the, the wind direction. So even in very popular publications, the second half, the root part, which is very important for the humidity and for the transportation of the humidity into the ground and out of the ground, for the water cycles, are not on the, on the, on the pictures. So for agroforestry systems, for example, there are hardwood trees, fruit and nut trees, uh, cop, uh, and other things. And I just show you some photos so that you see uh, how it's done. But it can also be a diversity in a population of wheat, which increases, even with measured figures, uh, the stability and productivity of ecosystems, and which are counted and measured uh, scientifically with t two points behind the comma. And it's also with this research from England, from Martin Wolf, uh, Professor Martin Wolf, done also an observation on the uh, wildlife of bees and birds to it. And I thank you for listening to this speech.